Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step 15, all right. So now that we have obtained the values from the input fields and generated an ID, we're gonna to wanna to add them to our task data array to keep track of the task, pardon me, to keep track of each task. However, we should only do this if the task is new. If the task already exists, we're going to set it up for editing, right? This is why we have the data R index variable, which provides the index of each task. So data R index, this thing right here, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna create an if statement with the condition data R index triple equals negative one. So if, tr if this thing right here equals negative one because the item.id is not the same as the current task, so the current task isn't in the, uh, Where's the item? Oh, it's not uh, one of these. It's not inside of the task data thing. Uh, if that's the case, we're gonna use the unshift method to add the task object, pardon me, task ob object to the beginning of the task data array. And uh, I don't know if we went over unshift or not, but unshift is an array method that is used to add one or more elements to the beginning of an array. So unshift is just like the push method, except for it's at the beginning instead of at the end, right? So uh, we'll just show it over here real quick uh, on the example or on the preview. So we've got the title, we've got the date, we've got the description and add the tax. So we've got the 26th right here. Let's add a new task and title something else. We'll blah, 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 the 24th and another description, add the task. We see that it's at the beginning and not at the end. If it was push, it would be at the end, right? So let's uh, delete, delete, all right, come back over here. And so that's basically what we're gonna do. And not the bene, we're gonna try adding a task and log task data to the console to see what it looks like. All right, so let's do that. So we're gonna first create the if statement with this condition in it. So we'll say if data r index triple equals negative one, all right? So if this thing right here, that's checking if the, uh, if it's, if the, uh, thing, if the current task ID is inside of the task data uh, array, if that equals negative one because it's not actually there, what we're going to do is we are going to unshift. So we'll say uh, 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 task obj dot, no, no, task data, task data dot unshift and then we'll put inside of here task obj, obj, like that, right? So now, right after that, let's do the console. Log. Let's say console.log task data, right? Let's uh, open up the console and let's add a new task, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Date, whatever. Description, blah, blah, blah. Add the task and look, we've got it right here. It's not showing up on our thing yet because we haven't made it do that, but it is showing up in the uh, task data array itself as a brand new object there, right? So it does work. Let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right, now we're on to step 16, and we'll see you next time.